Hello everyone. So in last video actually we have seen about the Azure Synapse Analytics, the theoretical part. So in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can create a Azure Synapse workspace. So everything we are going to see via practicals. So what I have done, I have opened my portal.azure.com. After that what you have to search, we have to search for the Azure Synapse. Okay, just search for the Azure Synapse. You can see Azure Synapse Analytics. Just click that. Now here we have to create a Synapse workspace. Just click on the Create Synapse workspace. We are creating the first time. Just click on the Create Synapse workspace. After that, we have to select the resource group. If you don't have resource group, you can create here by clicking on the Create New button. And uh, after that, workspace name we have to give. So I am giving the workspace name like Azure Synapse something. Make sure it should be unique and uh, okay so this is what we are giving okay and the reason what on which particular region you are there you had to create in that particular region only based on uh, your location okay now okay after that uh, we had to create the data lake storage account for the Azure Synapse we should have a Azure data lake storage account okay so let us try to create a new one okay so we'll give the any unique name so let me give data lake uh, uh, POC something something unique name I will give okay make sure it should be unique this is the the data lake storage account we are going to create and the file system name uh, so this also we are going to give okay make sure it should be unique for the file system and the account we are going to create for the data lake okay once you will done that click on the next security part okay here for the sql we have to make sure uh, you how actually you want to log in so we actually want to log in by username and password so make sure you will give the uh, server name username password and you should remember that okay because once you will log in through a uh, azure sql so you have to pass this uh, admin login name and the details okay so you have to give the correct uh, login password name okay so that actually we have given it for the sql login we have to pass all these details okay after that just click on the next okay uh, for the virtual network we are going with a by default click on the next next and just click on the create so this is how the simple and whatever the thing we have considered right so this is going to be come here okay now if you can re re review here okay the product details you can see the workspace serverless sql so serverless sql is going to be created and what is the cost we are going to bear we are going to bear 5 usd per tb per tb cost this is much cost we will get it okay now i am okay with that i will just click on the create so this is how actually we have to create a synapse workspace now if you will see our deployment is complete sometime it happens like your deployment is failed so we have to follow the simple step whatever we have done you can click on the redeploy also if it is getting failed okay and you have to follow the same step okay so now once the deployment is done we will go to the resource group okay now here if you will see you will get uh, all the kind of the things so we have created one uh, azure data like a storage account also right so that also you will get to see here okay now in overview page of all the about the things you can see like about the your azure synapse which we have created and the data like storage we have created right? on the azure synapse okay once you will click on the azure synapse right here uh, we have option open synapse studio click on that so this is going to uh, create uh, this is going to open our azure synapse analytics workspace okay the here only we will we are going to do all the activity like the data pipeline creation or the SQL data warehousing uh, querying uh, like uh, Spark related jobs everything we will do here only okay so let it open so then I will show you okay now if you will see once the, you will open the Azure Synapse workspace right so this particular screen you will get to see now if you will see we have an option like everything we can do in this particular space only like if you want to perform any kind of the data pipeline creation if you want to explore like the some kind of the data warehousing and the sparks everything if you want to use you can use into this particular space itself and if you want to connect with the power bi you can use this particular visualization option okay now you can see in the left side we have a couple of options we have a home we have a data we have a develop we have integrate monitor and the manage 
image now if you we'll go to the integrate option this is similar to the what we have in a our data factory if you we'll click here if you we'll click on the pipeline all the all the kind of the data pipeline creation you can do here like in a data factory we were doing right the copy data where actually we were selecting the source sync everything we can perform here only it is almost similar to the what we had in a, in a data factory so all the kind of the data pipeline creation and all you can do in a azure synapse workspace itself okay now if you we'll go to the monitor whatever the pipeline is running if you want to monitor that how whatever how actually we were monitoring in azure data factory here also we can use the monitor window okay now if you we'll go to the manage option so whatever the link service you are creating whatever the integration runtime everything you will get to see here so this three particular tab is whatever we had in azure data factory it is almost similar okay now what is new we'll go to the data okay first let us try to delete this okay so if we'll go to the data so we have two awesome one is the workspace one is the link so in a link if we'll go this is a particular data lake storage account what we have if you have a multiple data lake storage account in that actually you will get to see here okay now in a link you will get to see you are the data lake storage account okay now if you want if you click on the plus button okay now sql database if you want to create a sql database so uh, in synas workspace we get the two awesome one is the serverless one is dedicated in uh, next video we will see more in depth about this uh, serverless and the dedicated one so as uh, whenever you create azure synas by default the serverless uh, option you will get to see dedicated one you have to create okay so if you want to create the database so i will give any database name so let me give the poc db okay so that is how actually you can create a database okay whatever the database we are creating right so that actually you will get to see in this particular workspace okay so all the data warehouse relating to query and all everything we can do here if you want to write any kind of the sql query you can write here like you can create a new sql script and you can do it okay now here actually we can write any kind of the sql query and all okay now this is our all the sql related data warehousing related the stuff now if you'll go to the develop option right so whatever in a develop option if you want to create any kind of the notebook like whatever we had in a uh, whatever we were doing in a databricks account right similarly here also we can create a notebook and if you will see we get a similar kind of the python is pakala sql spark are this kind of the option now here actually you can write any code and if you want to run it right in a spark pool so you have to uh, attach your the manage pool okay like the uh, dedicated sql pool through which actually dedicated spark pool through which actually you want to execute right so that actually option you have to create okay that actually you have to select from here okay and here actually you can write any kind of the code whatever you want to execute okay so i hope you got idea about like uh, azure synapse workspace where actually we can perform all the kind of the activity related to the data pipeline if you want to use the spark related stuff where actually you want to clean your data all the data uh, all the data warehousing related stuff also you can do in a data you can write a sql script and you can do so everything actually it provides and here and also we get a direct connector with the power bi okay so in next video we'll do a practical and we'll try to understand more about it